Hey there everyone, welcome back to this channel and today's video we will talk about the verification failed on your Apple ID. So a lot of people are having this problem these days so therefore I have decided to make this video to help you guys out. Now first of all you have to understand why is this problem is happening. This problem mainly happened for three reasons. First, if the Apple server is down or if your internet is not working well or if, if something goes wrong with your Apple ID. Now let's go ahead and break down a part and fix this problem. First of all, all you want to do, go ahead and check your Apple server. Now, how would you even check the Apple server on your iPhone? Well, it's very simple. All you got to do, just go ahead and open up your browser on your device. I'll open up Safari, for example. Now, go ahead and type Apple system status. So, I'll type Apple system status. Now, tap go. Now, once you're here on the main page, go ahead and tap support system status and then you'll be able to know all the status of whether they're active or not. Once you're here, go ahead and hit plus icon right there and then it is going to tell you all this available option of whether they're working or not. So here as you guys can see, the everything like App Store, Apple Book and everything here, if it's just available, that means there's no problem is going on with their Apple server. Now let's go ahead and talk about your internet. Now, if you have the poor internet connection, the first things you guys can do is simple. Just go ahead and swap it down from top and go ahead and turn on your airplane mood and wait around 10 seconds. And afterward, go ahead and turn it off. And after that, your problem will be solved. Even after you have turned off your airplane mood and are still having the same problem, the next thing you guys gotta do is simple. Just go ahead and swap down from the top and switch your network. You simply can switch your Wi-Fi to your cellular or your cellular to your Wi-Fi. After that, go ahead and check whether it is working or not. Even after that, if we're still having the same problem, next thing you gotta quickly check is your VPN. If you just open up your settings and come down here, you'll be able to see this option called VPN connecting. Now, if you see it's turned on, go ahead and switch it off because your VPN can cause this issue pretty now and then, okay? Make sure VPN is turned off and now go ahead and check whether it is working or not. Okay guys, after your internet, now let's go ahead and talk about your Apple account, okay? Now here to check your Apple account to whether it is working fine or not, the first things you gotta do, just go ahead and grab another iPhone and go ahead and try login with your Apple account with that device just to check whether it is working or not. Now if you're still getting the same pop-up errors, the next things you guys gotta do is simple, just go ahead and open up your browser on your device. Now go ahead and type I forgot that apple.com and tap go. Now after that it is going to give you this surface okay. Now here it is asking for your Apple ID. Now just go ahead and enter your Apple ID. I'll just enter my Apple ID here. Now tap continue. Now go ahead and enter your phone number that is associated with your Apple account. As last two digits it is going to give you the hint. I'll just enter my phone number right there. After that go ahead and tap continue. As soon as you do it, it will give you this pop-up. Now it says, it says reset password. Go ahead and tap allow. Now it will go to your settings. Now go ahead and tap password and security. Go ahead and tap change password. Now go ahead and enter your phone unlocking password. And then you simply can add a new password and verify it. But keep in mind, it is not asking you for the, your previous password. Now just go ahead and enter a new password for your account. Now go ahead and verify your password. Now after that, go ahead and tap change. Now it is asking for a sign out to other device using your Apple ID. So go ahead and choose your preferable settings. So I'll tap sign out to other device. Alright guys, so right now as you guys can see our problem is solved. Now we're being able to log out your Apple accounts from our settings. So after doing all of the process, hopefully your problem will be solved as well. So if you find this video useful, leave a like for this video and feel free to subscribe to this channel to get more useful video content for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.